All right, guys, this is the secret method. I'll probably probably do the F0 function just because that takes a few seconds. This is part B and C of uh, 331. Uh, same thing. Uh, if you don't have it, um, either copy it down here. Yeah, these, are, these guys are just comments. This is the, the green right here. Uh, but if not, just go on WebCT and you can find it there. Do the same thing. Uh, file, save as. Or after you go to script, here I'll show you. The file, new, script. And just copy and paste this down. Whoops. Uh, then you save it. I'm not going to. I already have it. So. I hope the last video was clear. Um, for the Newton root, uh, it's basically since the deflection it wanted it at the derivative. This part right here, the first is the first derivative. This is the second derivative. The estimated value of x, the error that you want. And this is just the iteration, guys. So uh, hopefully that makes that made sense. Same thing with the secret root. Uh, we got the function, then your starting and endpoint, uh, your error and then the iterations you want. A uh, good thing about this one, we don't have to uh, create the function since we already did. Um, here it is if you missed it. Uh, it's just the first derivative. And these are the, uh, the values. It's a, this is given in the book here. Um, then this is just the first derivative of that equation. So, you know, save it same way. Call it whatever you want. I called it that, so... So to get the value for the secant um, method, we're just gonna Go ahead and do secant root at whatever you called your function. I called mine uh, fun function uh, 3 under 31 dr, and then uh, you're going to want, I think it gives us the uh, the interval here. Yeah, 1.5 for xa, and then 2.5 for xb. Whoops, don't forget the commas, guys. 2.5 for uh, xb, and then uh, the error in this case is 0 0.0001 again and let's just do 50 iterations again and see what happens alright see we got the same uh, answer so you know that's good right hopefully this is uh, clear to you guys uh, it helps a little bit but so this is the first part this is part A and this is B and then for C all it wants is you do the F0 function um, uh, in this case you just call in your function again uh, the first derivative one you made. So uh, this is mine. And then uh, if you plot it on anything, or you can just guess, but I, it's, it's about at 1.5 when it crosses the uh, 0. So uh, there's the F0 function, uh, part C. I think uh, that's it. So uh, yeah, hopefully this helped. See you guys.